Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another investing video. So we're up quite a bit from last month. I'm not sure why on this. I mean, I guess it is crypto and stuff involved too, but it's just off. So only up 243, but my stocks are up 300. So I guess crypto went down. Guessing that's what happened. But we'll start off with the interest. Let me just zoom in on these. So yeah, we are at 214.07 for this month because I did some options and stuff. So the pretty sure that's why the interest is a bit smaller than last month, which was 221. But we're at 1290 so far for the year. Which, yeah, next month we're going to be past last year's interest. So that's good at least. And stock dividend. I did stop reoccurring investing in the RYLD because I have finance stuff going on. Not the best. And I'm trying not to take money out of my Robin Hood. Just doing the cash thing. In case I have to end up coming to that. And because I'm putting 50% of that interest in the stocks, I just put it down to 40%. But yeah, the dividend for PSEC went up 28 cents from last month. SPHD went up 4 cents. Walmart, we didn't get any. RYLD, for some reason, RYLD, which is a monthly dividend payout, did not give dividend. For June, which I don't understand. But yeah, then Ford went up 53 cents, which is huge. Because, yeah, that's the biggest jump I've ever had for that, I'm pretty dang sure. Let's see what it did last time. Where the heck is Ford? I want to see what its last jump was. Yeah, the last time it was just a 10 cent. No, I must have not been doing reoccurring at the time. But yeah, that's a huge increase. We'll just have to see what the next one gives out. Because yeah, the first one was 10 cents to 25 cents, which this was just insane. But yeah, and QILD obviously still growing because I reoccur and invest in it. Has been jumping around, unfortunately, with its dividend, but I'm still, I got to look into that. Why RYLD did not pay out any dividend, but yeah, we got 36.96 for June in dividend, 227.74 so far, which it's going to be close to beat last month. So I still, uh, I guess I have... Seven more months, six more months. But yeah, if it's only at $30, $30 each time, it's going to be pretty dang close. Or below it, actually. I don't know, we'll have to see. And yeah, now stock performance. Oh, let me go up here. So yeah, PSEX went up a lot. I am really just want to break even the money I've put in it, which is... Never got close for months, but this is the closest it's been in a long time. So I went up five dollars in total from last month. And SPHD, of course, always doing good as always. QLD earned back thirty dollars almost. This is the biggest gain I've had in a long time from month to month. Everything's up quite a bit. Walmart got twenty-eight dollars. That thing's always been positive. Disney failed me thirteen dollars and eight below. Roblox went up a hundred and seven. That yeah, a third of my earnings, which is insane. Just a bunch of more small ones. Levi Strauss. I think that jeans want jean company down seventy-two. Biggest failure of the month. And then Tesla and Rivian went up a lot. I'm finally positive on Tesla again. So 183 this month. And yeah, we had a $300. $350 jump from last month to this month in stocks. 
when I can get this to zero, I'll be happy. <laughs> it's just going to take forever because Roblox and Robinhood and QYLD are my losers. But, yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. That all helps out greatly, and we will see you all next month.